good afternoon, morning, or whenever you happen to be watching this. Uh, Jack, Chester, and I, this is Jack here, this is Chester over here, um, are going to show the new toy I got. Um, we're just going to kind of have to do this as a one-shot wonder because um, uh, I, I'm not so good at the uh, editing and when uh, YouTube got rid of the editing stuff, I kind of had to switch to it, uh, just go one shot and call it good. So I've seen a lot of crafty YouTubers um, uh, switch to the Gemini Junior, and I thought it might be fun to give it a shot too. Um, but I haven't seen a whole lot, and maybe it's just because I haven't been looking hard enough, I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, unboxing videos of it. So I'm going to un unbox, and I started to unbox it, and then I realized, hey, you know, maybe other people would like to see. I got this one from, uh, oh my gosh, and now the birds. I got this one from HSN, and it came with some extra goodies that I haven't noticed in the other ones. So I'm going to show you what I got, and plug it in, give it a try, and see how I like it. Uh, like I said, I started to unbox it, so some of the things aren't as they would be had you actually bought it from HSN. And it says that it will cut cardstock, mirror card, adhesive foam, adhesive vinyl, stencil foam, uh, stencil film, sorry, glitter paper, layers of fabric, felt, burlap denim, balsa wood, craft metal, leather, chipboard, and cork. Oh, those birds. I'm so sorry. If I was cool, I would learn how to do voiceovers, but I'm not cool yet. So, there you have it. Okay, so I'm going to put this down. It came with uh, stamps. I think they're cute. Uh, there's 17 of them in here. A user's guide. It came with an embossing folder. Is this the one that belongs here? Yes. So it came with this embossing folder. Let's, I'm not sure you can see the design so well. Maybe that'll help. It's kind of a matte frame kind of thing. It came with some cutting plates. It came with clear cutting plates, two of those, and they were in a package. Uh, it came with a magnetic plate. It came with a uh, shim, plastic shim. It came with a embossing pad, a metal shim. And a magnetic sheet. So there's that. Came with a plug, of course. And then in here, I wish those birds would stop. I was going to fill them out in the camper, but it's so cold, and then everybody's like, well, do you live in the camper? Uh, no, I don't you know. But this, the birds pretty much are why. Um, I don't film in the camper, so I'm sorry about the birds, and maybe this helps explain why. Uh, let's see, I also, it also comes with, um, wait a minute, okay, so it says that it comes with two metal designs, right? But this package also has some word dies in it. See the metal dies? And the word dies. So I'm not too sure if those go together or not. We'll find out later, I suppose. Um, this was the package for the magnetic shim. This was the package for the metal shim. Get clear cutting plates. Okay. Sorry. 
like I said, I opened it and then realized. This is another embossing folder, and it embosses to look like this. And you can see I pulled out this one here, but um, I just wanted to take a look at it. And then it's got all these other ones. I like this hello and I like this love. So there's six of them in here. And I like these little corners. I think they're cute. All right, so there's that. And now we'll get to the machine. I should grab some paper so that we can die cut something. Okay, and then the machine itself. And I don't know if all this stuff came because I bought it at HSN or if they all come, you know, no matter where you buy it, it comes with all these extra piece, extra accessories. I don't know. Okay, so that's what it looks like. There's the Crafter's Companion. It's small. It's... Um, let me, let me get a ruler and some scrap paper. Alright, the machine itself is... It sticks out a little bit further than this edge, so I'm trying to eyeball it. It's about 11 inches by maybe 8 inches tops, maybe not quite as wide, and about 5 and a half inches tall. Like I said, I'm really sorry about the birds. I don't know what to do to make them stop. So we're going to try really quick before I run out of battery. This is a terrible video, and I'm really sorry. But that's, this is, those birds are primarily why I do my videos outside in the camper. Um, because of how loud they are. It's got the three prong, um, what is it called? Three prong plug, so you really can't um, plug it into that extension cord that I had. So let's figure out what the sandwich is. Okay, so clear plastic. Magnetic. Okay. So let's choose one. Here's a clear. Clear. Plastic. Magnetic. And let's see, we'll use. And I thought I'd like to use this because I do a lot of die cutting and uh, I could probably be a little bit quicker with that than um, than with the, uh, oh my, there's more and even more. So happy birthday, these are the word dies I showed you. But then this is also in a bag and this is also in a bag. So it all kind of coordinates with that stamp set that I showed you earlier. Um, let's try, let's just try birthday just because it's something quick and easy. A 
will try birthday, and I peeled out this one, this die as well, so we'll use that. And I'm using coordinations just because that's what, what I happen to have laying around. And I'm not going to make a card or anything with it, I'm just going to... Um, Cut it out and see how I like it. Turn it on, perhaps. Oh, maybe. Oh, I see. There's a button in the back you have to s switch over. Okay, so I've got that turned on. I've got that and I'll run it through so I'll do these dies and then I'll also run it through this uh, embossing folder birds are gonna go crazy once they so oh it says blade side up so we're gonna flip this over really quick I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make, but I want to do it the way it says to do it. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Well, it, I can already tell that it did a good job. Well, you know what? It didn't cut all the way through on birthday. Can you see that? The birthday didn't cut all the way through. Well, that's sad. Huh, I wonder why. Maybe because it's a little bit more detailed? I don't know. Maybe I should have added the metal cutting plate. So we'll try it again. I'm going to poke these out and try it again. And then um, we'll use the metal cutting plate. So I don't understand why it wouldn't. This is turning into a long video. Kind of a first impressions though, you know. So we'll take... Maybe this one's considered... to be detailed? I don't know. We'll try that again. Like I said, the birds drive me a little bit batty when I'm trying to do something. So I'm apolog I really do apologize with how loud that they are. I know they must be loud for you too. Okay, so let's I'm only going to emboss a tiny little section just to see how well it embosses. Um, I'm not working on any kind of project right now, so. I'll do that. Put the metal shim on top. And try again. We shall see. It did push into the plastic, though, so I don't see why it didn't...
if it gets stuck, you can rewind it, not rewind it, um, reverse it. So that's kind of nice. That cut much better. So my problem was that I wasn't using the uh, shim here for the more intricate dies. You know, I didn't know what their threshold for intricacy is. So, And that came out pretty well. I can get this out of here. I'm gonna have to flick out. I have to flick out the uh, centers of these bits, but you get the idea. So there's that. I don't know if you can see that. So that came out pretty good. Oh, my light's flashing at me. Of course it is. And the little bitty words came out okay. I'll have to poke out some more of that. All right, then let's try, find out what the sandwich is really quick for an embossing folder and run that through. Um, embossing folder. Okay, so cutting uh, magnetic embossing material, okay. This one out. We're just going to throw in this scrap that I pulled off. And run that through. Whoa, that's weird. Okay, wonder why it did that. That is not how that's supposed to work. Huh, okay, well, let's try something else then. That was really weird because I did this the way it said. Why won't that go through? What the heck? Why, 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 why? Okay. That's why, because I'm dumb. <laughs> and I didn't read. That's why. It wants the plastic shim. I swear I saw it, that it said clear, so that was my problem. That was not the machine's problem. The machine tried. Yeah, the machine tried. Wow, it's highly embossed. I don't know if you can see that. So, before this blinking light dies on me, I'll, um, I'll say that, you know, I really do like the embossing, um, uh, the, the embossing and the die cutting that this machine does. Um, it'll help me when I want to get a whole bunch of things done really quickly. I don't know about finding replacement pads, but I do know that, um, this is sold at my local Hobby Lobby, too, so I can probably get, um, more uh, mats and pads and, and metal shims and all this at the uh, at Hobby Lobby. The only problem it had was my own fault, um, as you could as you saw. Um, I really do like it. Um, I think I'm going to end up using it in a lot more of my uh, projects just to keep things moving along. And there's nothing wrong with my Sizzix uh, Big Shot, um, but sometimes you get a whole lot of pro a whole lot of pieces to cut and 
Um, hoping that this will alleviate some of the uh, assembly line process that I do. Um, maybe it'll help speed up some of that. So, all in all, I, I love it. Um, it came quickly from HSN. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if all the accessories come with, with it normally because that's not how I purchased it. I purchased it um, through the, uh, the website. So, um, it comes with, you know, crazy amount of accessories if you do it that way. I don't, like I said, I don't know what it comes with in the stores. Um, all in all, I really, really do like it, and I can't wait to play with it some more, uh, find out what else I can do in it, uh, maybe even use it to flatten some, um, what, what, what am I trying to say, some cards that are warped, like bases or stuff that are warped, I'm hoping maybe that'll help with that. Um, so, I like it. Um, I'm going to keep it and keep using it and maybe come up with some projects that I can use it with. So, that's all for today. Thank you. Again, I'm apologizing for the birds. We'll talk to you later. Bye.